All right, I've had a couple questions from people about wiring on the new uh, Skywatcher Wave 150. So I thought it might be easier for me to make a little video and show what I have going on than, than maybe answer some of the questions in text. Um, so quickly kind of walking through the, the configuration here. Um, I've got my Skywatcher Wave 150 uh, mount. Um, and on the, the back panel here, let's see if I can get my focus going. So what I have is uh, I've got two powers. So this one here is a 2.1 millimeter uh, input power. Uh, and I've got a little right angle adapter that's, that's going out. I'll show you where it goes in a second. This one over here is a 2.5 uh, millimeter um, uh, right, ang right angle adapter. Uh, but again, th these two are different sizes. Uh, both of those come out. Again, they're just little um, little adapters that I've got that are again going down to, uh, I use a Blue Eddy uh, power box, but if you've got multiple power supplies, uh, you can do that. Some people are talking about using a, a splitter as you get up here, so a single power source coming up to maybe like a, a Y DC splitter and then going in here, but for me, it's not a big deal right now, so I've just got these two power cables coming up. Um, I also have to control the mount, uh, so my mini PC, which is a, a Melee Overclock 4C up here, uh, I'll show you how I'm getting there in a second. To control that, I have my USB-B to USB-A bridge adapter here, so basically the mount control is going to go through here and then back up to, uh, where are we? There we go. Back up to the USB controller that is on the saddle. So um, this is the, the main way I'm using it right now. Now my other option that I can do here, and I'm just going to pull this out. Carefully. My other option is I can use an EQ mod cable, um, and that would go, there we go right into this hand control port, and then the other side, which is USB A, is going to go right into uh, which direction do I need it to go? Like so. All right. This is my other configuration option. Either one I found is working fine, but you know this is a much longer cord. Uh, I like the short little you know six inch um, bridge adapter to the USB B. Uh, so either option, but ultimately this is mount control from USB B or the hand control going through the USB A which comes out USB-A on the uh, saddle here. Um, so what I have, uh, again, from the saddle, you've got the other power. I've got two 2.5 millimeter outputs up here. I only need one, uh, and I'll, I'll show what I'm doing with that first before I follow my USB to my mini PC. Uh, so I've got a 2.5 millimeter to a 2.1 uh, millimeter adapter again, just because most all of my cables are 2.1. And this is going into a uh, Pegasus Powerbox Mini that I have. So this is what I'm using to power everything else up here on my, my scope. So just uh, power out right to my um, Pegasus Powerbox, and I'll show where I got stuff going there in a second. Then the USB, again, this is for mount control. This is coming out and I've got this flowing into, come around to this side, uh, into my mini PC. So just a USB-A to USB-A cord right into my mini PC. And then from this side, you can see a couple things on my Pegasus power box. Uh, I've got power coming out to my ZWO camera. That's one cord. Uh, I've got power 
right here coming out and going to my Pegasus autofocuser. Uh, and then I also have power going out from a uh, modified um, cable that I'm using to power. So uh, my 5 volt to a USB to power um, to power my mini PC. So that's what that looks like. And then on the mini PC, I also have USB uh, controlling my uh, autofocus and then my camera uh, as well. So that's what my, my connections look like here. Um, and then I've got one more that is going to a little router that I have mounted here. And then the last components would be I've got some of my dew heater plugs going here. So that's what my wiring setup looks like and how I've got it tied into a Melee Mini PC as well as my Pegasus Powerbox. Hope this helps.